Hello friends, welcome to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh Bonik and today I'll be unboxing the new Samsung Galaxy Music Duos. From the name of this model, you can assume that this is a purely music phone. You can also see the dual speakers from the picture over here. You're also getting Samsung Smart Dual SIM functionality. That means when you are on a call over one SIM, you can still get calls from the SIM too. Now let's have a quick tour on the box. Here are some specifications. First of all, this is a 3G phone with quad band mode. The camera is 3 megapixel and the operating system is Android Ice Cream Sandwich and the user interface is Touch with Nature UX. It has also got a GPS, dual SIM support and also dual stereo speakers which is obvious for a music phone like this. Now the color of this device is ceramic white and here is the pricing information. Though the box price is 9890 rupees, you can get it under 9000 rupees, which is around 165 USD. So that's all on the box. Now let's start the unboxing. Here is the new Samsung Galaxy Music, which is a pretty small device and also looks very cute. It also feels very solid in hand. Now let's put this aside for a while and let's check what are the things inside. Here are some manuals and here is the battery for your device. This is a 1300 mAh battery which seems fairly decent for an entry level device like this. You are also getting a stand for this music phone. Let me show you a demonstration. You can put the phone like this way on the stand. So pretty good stuff from Samsung. Next thing you are getting is the charging adapter which is very compact and comes with the micro USB port attached. Here you are getting the micro USB data syncing cable. Next thing you are getting is the headset which is obviously the most important accessory and you are also getting some extra earbuds of different sizes. The 3.5mm headset jack has got a nice gold plating on it which will provide you better quality sound and here are the earpieces which are of in-ear type and the build quality is excellent here you are getting the inline microphone with some push button technology this is basically the same headset I got with the Galaxy S Duos here is the headset of my Galaxy Note 2 which looks almost identical to the one I got with this Galaxy Music though the remote is kinda different the Note 2's one has got volume control whereas the one with this Galaxy Music doesn't have any the 3.5mm headset jack is also exactly same. Samsung should have included the volume control option in this headset, though the headset is not bad at all. I will talk about the sound quality of this headset in my in-depth review, so don't forget to subscribe. Here is the device ultimately, a budget music phone from the market leader with amazing sound quality, I hope. Let's get rid of this protective plastic first. This is a pretty tiny device, the screen protector attached to it makes the display very fingerprint friendly. For the dimension of this phone, this feels a little bit heavy. Officially this is 107 gram but this actually makes the phone feel very solid in hand. The front loudspeaker grills look very good, the design and the finish is very good as usual. Here is the another one. This also works as the air speaker. You are getting the proximity sensor over here. The display size as you know is 3 inches with 320 by 240 pixels at the rate of 133 ppi. Here is the physical home button with capacity back and menu buttons. On the right hand side you are getting a special music key. And here is the power as well as the lock unlock key. That's all here. Here on the top you are getting the 3.5 mm headset jack and here is the port for charging as well as data syncing which is secured under door. On the left you are getting the volume rockers and here is the micro SD card slot which is hot swappable. This feature is very handy especially for a music phone. Here you are getting the tiny microphone hole. Overall the finish of this phone is good but it is a pretty thick phone as you can see. Here is the 3.2 megapixel camera and the back side of this phone is very glossy. Overall the look of this device I will not say very good but it is a very compact and solid device. Let's open up the back panel. Here are the SIM card slots and here is the micro SD card slot which is actually accessible from outside. 
Now let's switch on the device, show you the user interface, storage, RAM etc and obviously the LCD quality. Here is the lock screen of the very popular TouchWiz UI of Samsung and this phone actually has got the Nature UX which is similar to Galaxy S3 and also Galaxy Note 2 though a lot of customizations and compromisations have been done on this device to make the UI fast and compatible with this budget friendly device. Though the UI is almost similar to the one on the Galaxy Chat and also Galaxy S Duos and as you can see the UI is kinda laggy, I think the phone is still loading. This phone sports an 850MHz processor with 512MB of RAM and you are getting typical 7 home screens out of the box. Let's delete the unnecessary ones. You can create, delete and also manage your home screens right from this window as you know. You can also choose your default home screen. Now I think the phone has completed loading. The UI is feeling much more smooth now. Let's quickly show you the very user friendly lock screen. You are getting 4 quick launch apps which can be launched just by sliding on the screen and like other touches devices you can obviously customize this quick launch apps tray. And here is the notification window. You are getting a brightness control right on the notification window because this phone doesn't support any ambient light sensor and you are also getting a lot of toggle switches so that you don't have to visit the settings every time you need this. Now let's check the dialer on this device which is pretty neat and clean. Though the display is pretty small, there should be no problem here. This is the locks and here is the contacts menu. Now friends, let me show you the messaging on this device and I am actually very much interested to show you the keyboard which may not feel very comfortable on a 3 inches display. Let's just try it. I am using this for the first time on this phone and I am not feeling very comfortable but I am absolutely sure that after some days of use I can get used to this. But you have to be very careful or you can also try the landscape mode which will give you some space. Now this keyboard also should support continuous input. Let me show you that. This feature will be very helpful here. You are also getting a lot of other settings because this phone is running on a very beautiful touches UI. Here are the languages this keyboard support. And as you can see there is no Indian language support. Now let's try the continuous input. Now typing on the keyboard is not feeling very bad. Now let's check the applications you are getting out of the box and most of these are typical Google apps. Nothing special here. Here are the widgets and on a small screen phone like this widgets may help a little bit and as you can see you are getting so many widgets on this device. Now as this is a purely music phone I also wanna check the music capabilities of this phone. Well, the stereo speakers are very loud and clear, it is much better than any other smartphone in the market. And you are also getting the music square feature which is absolutely brilliant. There are 4 categories and you have to just click on any square. The music system will scan all the songs and play the right music for you. This feature does work, I have used it on my phone a lot of times. You can buy this device just for the music capability and also the touch with UI. You are also getting a lot of equalizer presets and also custom option. Well that was just a quick walkthrough on the user interface. Now let's check the android version, ram, storage etc and the android version as you can see is 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. The total device memory is 1.95 GB and the user available is 1.79 GB. The free RAM space before installing any application is around 200 MB and 250 MB is being used though this settings is actually eating up some 15 MB of space. So the RAM and the internal storage is fairly good for an entry level device like this. But you should not forget that this phone is priced at 9000 rupees exactly same as Xperia Tipo which has got much better looks and also build quality. And obviously a 3.2 inches display with HVG resolution which is much better than this pixelated display. 
So if you are not a diehard fan of music then get the Xperia Tipo or you can also try Galaxy Chat which has got a physical keyboard. I will also check the headset I got with this device which is surprisingly a premium one. I hope that the quality will be amazingly good. I will talk all about this in my in-depth review so don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. You can also check facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples. You can also like this video, comment in the comment section if you have any query and also share this video with your friends. So friends that's all for today, see you in the next video, bye bye.